And there's even basically so much fake news being released about this movie and what it is about and... to Motoganda and welcome actually to an unusual topic of course normally I don't cover health topics or movie topics but well this one is rather political as well of course there's a movie out there or well I would rather call it a documentary since it's not really like an action movie or anything which has been shown in certain cinemas only and is about vaccinations and why I cover this is basically because the well let's say given subtitle of the movie they don't want you to see is rather precise one of course, the actual name is Vaxxed from Cover-Up to Catastrophe, if I remember correctly. But it's commonly known and if you Google for it or search it on YouTube, you will find more likely Vaxxed, the movie they don't want you to see. And since I know some of you won't watch this video to the end, let me give you my opinion or my advice about this movie up front I would really much advise you to watch it it doesn't mean you have to agree with it or anything but just watch it and then maybe discuss it and I say this basically because a lot of discussion about it I've seen so far is like from people who didn't even watch it saying like ah oh, yeah it's bullshit and so on and so forth and well maybe it's true but in order to say it's bullshit at least you should have watched it but well how come it actually got this name or nickname or nick subtitle or whatever you want to call it the movie they don't want you to watch it's not just because of such comments going on and protests or something like that well you can basically protest against every movie you want to but it's because it kind of gets a bit over the top for example you have in Germany cinemas being threatened to show the video uh, the movie sorry or even some of them getting physically attacked just for daring to show it and well I think that shouldn't happen even if you disagree with it fine but due to free speech it should be still allowed to be shown and there was even a nice incident over here in Malta well wouldn't call it a nice incident actually but which pointed out this anti-free speech movement which is behind condemning this movie because the journalist dared to put what in my opinion was kind of a review of the video so she put up an article basically saying yeah the movie is about that and that and that and there are protests going on against it and well coming to the conclusion if you're into free speech you should watch it and the funny part of it was there was a big outrage online about it I mean it even made it and uh, that I found really great it even made it in the print of Times of Malta Sunday edition or whatever you want to call it and obviously from there it couldn't get erased anymore but 
what they did after obviously the outrage and this shitstorm and everything like how can you advertise for that movie or how can you dare even mentioning it well then they pulled the article from their website and in my opinion that basically proves the point of the journalist there where I unfortunately now forgot her name but the good thing about editing videos is I can just put up the name right there now but it was basically proving her point of course she was saying like yeah it's kind of anti-free speech if this movie should not be shown and well her free speech got censored by pulling the article so in my opinion point 100% proven but why all this hype about it? I mean, what dangerous things it shows that no one is supposed to see. And, well, spoiler alert here, I'm gonna tell you a bit what it's showing. Of course, I watched it already. So basically it shows some stories of families with autistic kids which got, according to them, autism by the MMR vaccine. And it shows also a whistleblower from the CDC, which is like the US health and safety thingy. I actually forgot what it is really named where he basically claims, and he worked there according to his claims, that all those safety studies about this specific vaccine were basically faked. And there I actually find it quite worrying that even the Maltese government seems to have gone into this trap course even they were urged to release a statement, an official one, like, yeah, vaccines are safe and the movie is bullshit and so on. And they were quoting the CDC there. I mean, come on. At least I would have expected from the official government body who released that statement to have watched the movie and to maybe then not quote CDC saying it's safe while in the movie the whistleblower says the CDC study is fake. I actually don't really want to go into the topic um, if the movie has a point or not or if it's true or not of course basically therefore I didn't do enough research on this topic yet since for me it was never a question if vaccines can cause autism or not of course for me it was enough to read that on the most vaccines the side effects or which are quoted as either common or in certain cases even highly common side effects are basically exactly the same which are the symptoms of the actual disease so if I have the same symptoms commonly or highly commonly if I take this vaccine well I would rather not go for it at all and there's even basically so much fake news being released about this movie and what it is about and well even most people pointing out there yeah but it's a movie about Andrew Wakefield who is the founder or father of the anti-vaccine campaign and so on and so forth which if you check the facts behind it basically shows it's absolutely bullshit so I just wanted to use the opportunity as well to get rid of some of those 
bullshit excuses or fake news. Of course, first of all, the movie is not about Andrew Wakefield at all. I mean, yes, he has an interview in the movie as well. And yes, he did direct it, but it's basically not about him. Second fake news about it is that he is like against vaccinations at all. And so the founder and father of the anti-vaccine campaigns. Of course, if you check out his statements, the only thing he said is basically, well, the combined triple MMR vaccine is not safe. So rather than going for the triple one, you should better go for the single one. So M, M and R. And the last fake news I want to cover about this one is, well, basically not really related to the movie, but rather related to Dr. Wakefield himself. Well, you shouldn't basically call him Dr. Wakefield, of course, he got his license withdrawn due to the study he made. And, well, basically, whenever anyone refers to the study, then says like, Yes, yeah, so see, he did a fake study and he faked it and that's why he lost his license. Um, basically, that's completely fake news. He did something which he shouldn't have done. Basically, he requested from the ethical commission the go-ahead to carry out the study and they didn't approve it and he anyway carried it out and that was the reasoning why he lost his license about it and rightfully so I have to say I mean if the ethical commission says no you're not supposed to actually go ahead anyway but during the entire uh, court case it was not a single one time questioned about the results so whoever claims that because of this court case his study is fake sorry but you're fake news <laughs> but at least there's also a good thing about all this media hype about it because if you tell people, and I think mainstream media didn't get that point yet, even if it backfires all over again, if you tell people, don't watch it, don't watch it, don't watch it all over the place, well, guess what? More people will watch it. Same applies to me, basically. I had it already on my, well, to watch list, but uh, quite low on my priority list. So basically watch it whenever you have time or if you have nothing else to watch. But with all the media hype about it, it made it to my top one, basically, and made it even to a video about it. So hopefully I could clean up some of the myths and fake news about this movie and maybe I could even convince one or two of you to go out and watch it and if you do so I would really appreciate to see your opinion on it down there in the comments. And well, that's it already for today. Share, like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button to not miss any upcoming videos. And I see you in the next video.